Hey y'all, so it is the morning of baby girl's arrival. I have to be at the hospital at 12.30 and they're gonna do her, um, they're gonna do my C-section at two. So it's like 5.45 in the morning. I just got Kaden up. I'm about to go take a shower again. Get everybody ready and I'm gonna take you guys along on vlog with me. If you are new, make sure you are subscribed. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Give this video a thumbs up and y'all come on this journey with me. I thought about trying to do something cute to my hair, like twist it up last night, but I was like, mm -mm, I have way too much stuff to do. So a bun it is. I'm gonna be looking ugly <laughs> this entire time anyway, so whatever. Go check on Kaden and then get the babies up because they're going to go to daycare for half of the day. Then I have a few more errands I need to run before 1230s. said no earrings but I'm gonna wear them until I have to take them off because mm -mm. alright y'all let's get ready or stressed let me catch my breath okay quick update so I dropped my son off I dropped the twins off I'm about to leave my mom's school. I'm in the parking lot. I have to put the car seats in her car as well as the stroller because she's going to pick them up from daycare. I'm about to head back home, do some last minute packing, making sure I have everything for the kids and myself. Probably going to go back to my mom's house to organize some of the clothes just a little bit. And then by then it should be time for us to head to the hospital. So I'll give you guys another update once I get done with all of that. So it is 1.48. They got me all hooked up. We're getting ready to go back. So, yeah, that's another baby next door. So I'll see you guys once we get into a room and she'll be here. kids came to visit me they just left i want to say like maybe about an hour ago um the epidural and things like that are starting to wear off so i am starting to feel some pain y'all they just kept pressing my stomach every nurse that came here just kept pressing my stomach it hurts so bad um but other than that and then also i started having the shakes after i came from the operating room because of the um anesthesia so I dealt with that for like a good hour. I was extremely cold, but um, my nurse has been taking very good care of me. She's so sweet. But um, other than that, honestly, the overall process, I mean, it was pretty smooth. And um, like I said, everybody's been very, very helpful, nice. Um, catering like you know to what I'm needing but um we'll continue this vlog in the morning and see what happens so yeah I'll see you guys in the morning so good night
day two. We got a stanker, stanker baby right here. She moving around. She saying, I'm stanker. So, Paige, look at that baby. Can I see that baby? Baby. She acting like she hungry, dude. Maybe she is. All right, y'all. So, it is now going on 5.30. I just took my official walk to go use the bathroom. Pain wasn't that bad. It was bad, but it wasn't that bad. It was a lot easier than it was with the twins. Um, they just brought me dinner. Let me show you what they brought me. So it looks like some chicken parm with noodles and broccoli. This looks like banana pudding, um, applesauce, and some ginger ale. Um, so the doctor came in and said that I should um, anticipate staying another 24 to 48 hours. I just got off the magnesium um, and that helps with blood pressure and stuff. So they're going to monitor me again for another 24 hours. So if I can't leave by Thursday, more than likely it'll be Friday. So, um, I have yet to take a shower and yet to brush my teeth today so i'm gonna try to at least brush my teeth before tonight like at least and then either when my mom or my boyfriend comes back um we can ask the doctor about like me possibly taking a shower all right y'all so quick update it is 8 45 i just got done feeding her and she left me a nice little surprise in her diaper so we just got done changing her diaper and right now we're just doing um a little bit of skin to skin she fell asleep Overall, she's doing great. Um, they did have to put her under the incubator or a, a heat warmer for a few minutes because her temperature was dropping a little bit. It was like 97, so, but she's been stabilizing in that, so they brought her back in here. Um, so, yeah. Oh, also, I did have to go use the bathroom for the second time, so they need me to go three times before I can take a shower so hopefully I can get that done by the end of the night and in the morning I can take a shower because I just it's the little things right oh my god I need some chopsticks so bad So as you can see, I'm finally in some different clothes. I was finally able to take a shower. Kaylin's in the nursery. They have to do a car seat study on her. Um, we had a rough night last night. So I'm about to take this opportunity just to go lay down. Oh my gosh. I'm exhausted, y'all. But yeah, that's what I'm about to go do. So. <laughs> I just um, got done eating dinner. Um, today we pretty much just chilled. I pumped a little bit today. A little bit of milk came out. Not a lot, but um, that's normal. I walked around the hallway. Um, I was finally able to take a shower, like I've been saying this entire time. She passed her car seat um, study. We got our birth certificate information. All of that stuff is complete. Hopefully we can leave tomorrow. One of the nurses came in here and actually said that because um, we pretty much have everything done and I've been doing pretty good so I see no reason why we can't but you know with them we never know. But um, yeah I think I'm going to end the vlog here and then we'll continue on when I get home. I'm going to give you guys you know a day in the life of what it is to now be a mom of four and all of that so stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog because this is the last time I will be giving birth. This is the last time I will be in a hospital, you know, for this. And um, it's been a
bittersweet, but I'm done. I am so done. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one.